My name is Sean Overton, and I'm turning this into a desert forest. Before I use the bulldozer or I really get going with excavation, it is important that I really think about planning and putting the right types of earthworks in the right spot. Scott Arnold from 360 Drone Mapping came out here to give me a hand. When Scott reached out to me and said he'd like to use his drone company to create a 3D and 2D map of the entire 320 acre property with one centimeter accuracy, I said, uh, yeah. Come on out. Uh, you were mentioning that you got to do something like you got to set some sticks in, <laughs> some sticks or stakes in the ground. Yeah, sort of. So what we're going to do is we're going to put ground control points or GCPs as they're called. And what that's going to do is it's going to, you know, when you're having multiple iterations of maps, you got to be able to stitch them on top of each other. Right. And if it's a few feet off, then you've got a problem. Right. So every time you go out there, you know, when you're doing a construction progression or something, you're going to need to lay these down. So what we're going to do is over this property, we'll put a few, maybe three or four of them. Usually it's really quick. We've got like those little, um, those little reach GNS heads. Um, those are really nice so you can walk around and plot with them. We've got the other one, which is a base station that we're going to go put down and you'll, you'll, it's going to have to read for a couple minutes. Oh, wow. And then when we get to, uh, <laughs> I, thought, I don't know why, I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting this. Yeah. So that's called a RTK module or real-time kinematics. So this little drone here has got what's called a top hat or an RTK module. This little guy, right? You see on top? Yeah. So this thing is going to talk back to this thing, right? Yeah. Which is going to talk to some satellites. Hopefully it will connect. I did look on the map and it said we have some RTK coverage. Okay. We'll see. This we'll thing we'll looks see. like if you were too close to it while it's operating, it might give might you a fry you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? Right. yeah, I know. I yeah, not. it's I like <laughs> if the Mexican army comes across, I'm yeah, ready for him. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Let's get one more. Four, one, five, three. For how high tech it is, I think it's hilarious that you're putting down like a piece of fabric with a number Dude, on it. You know what's it. so funny about yeah. that is yeah. getting into this industry, it's funny how you know, it's all a mitigation of errors game, right? Yeah. You're getting down as close as you can. And uh, that last little bit, you can spend tens of thousands of dollars real easy, you know, oh, yeah. on getting like a real survey grade, one centimeter type of accuracy. Oh my God. Yeah, you can, yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can spend a whole lot of money. Yeah, there's definitely a point where good enough is good enough. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And you know, the, the standard is one centimeter. So that, there's your margin right there, right in on that little window. So what we're going to do here is the GCP, and we're going to plot up that little point right there that he's putting in the ground. Okay, and this is to the one centimeter accuracy. Yeah, so well, we generally will set this with like a little rover, it's called a, like a little GNS head, right? Um, that one's broken, so we've got the base station. All you got to do is get that, that point, right? Yeah. So whatever way you get it, it's fine. It's nice to go plot it and be able to move, but for this one, we've got to set it up and let it calibrate for a second. Okay. And then we'll plot and record that point, and we'll put that in the post. So, have you had any other GIS guys contact you about anything? Yeah, there's a, there's probably four or five that are active in the Facebook group. That's good. That's so crooked. We'll get it right there. So we're getting GNS positioning strong. Sixteen satellites now. Here's your property, right? Here's your big circle where we, right here. Uh huh. About right there. We just put one right here. Yep. Let's put one over here somewhere, and then one about right over here, or somewhere around like that. I'm just trying to split this into thirds, kind of. You can walk safely all yeah. the way down to the wall of the canyon. Yeah. You can put one there. Okay. And then you can ride or drive all the way up the road that way it's way more difficult to get to the other side of the canyon that road is like you'll know pretty close to where the property line is mm -hmm. going that way okay. and then going that way do you know what yucca looks like yeah yeah you'll see a giant yucca standing on a ridge just like this one right over there okay it's all by itself that's the property line okay. oh all right is that actually how they designated it no this yucca <laughs> no <laughs> This here, Yucca. Your, your meets and bounds. This is right. yours, Yucca. Right? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, I got to grab that bucket. But uh, yeah, this is what okay. we did last time. All right. We started the check dams all the way up to the property line. Okay. We built 30 of these on the last trip and a little over half a day. Yep. It was just 
it goes fast. Yeah, over here. Is uh huh. This is the second finger. And this is on your property. Yeah, it goes. My property still goes another three quarters of a mile that way. Okay. Sorry, what is Michael doing? I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, forgot the GCP. Oh uh -huh. no. I figured, like, I really wanted to hear your story, but I was just yeah, like, not often either. people go jogging in 102 degrees, yeah. but sure. So this, here's our map for today. 150 minutes, 344 acres. So, you know, your stuff's probably like right there, right? Yeah. It's just a little overlapped. We're gonna pull 6,000 images on seven batteries. So, I mean, it's a whole lot. And it's a real over the top, like we said, but we only got anything better to do. Yeah, it's hot and we're killing time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, um, let's launch this. Mikey, you want to launch that out there? Yeah. And I will um, right here for us. I didn't realize you had taken off already. So, it's going to start. So, this just what you're looking at. This is the this is the central wash. Uh -huh. uh, this is what ArcGIS says is Cottonwood Canyon, which yeah. is hardly surprising. Like, you can see the trail of green. Yeah. I can't believe how vast that valley is. I know. It's pretty amazing. Well, I was telling Scott that on the drive over here, just how much land is still there. And what's cool is I'm surrounded by 40,000 acres that the state of Texas owns. Oh, wow. And it's essentially a geological and biological preserve. Okay. So it's like, wow. I basically have a national park to myself without any of the BS. Yeah, yeah. That's and really it's nice, probably yeah. going to stay like this. It, it's... it's in fact, yeah. it's part of their charter that they can't change those 40,000 acres. So... Did you know that before you bought it? Yeah, nice. that was a big part of the decision. Yeah. It's like, really that bad. land can't be changed. See, it started on its mission. So you see it's going down 45 this way and then it's shooting backwards every once in a while. Right. Yeah. I was wondering if it was just like a poor signal or what, but that makes sense that the camera's just got, kind of going nuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's it, it's the camera itself going ching 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 back and forth. That's a picture every time. It's taken. The way he delivered the product is super cool. It lets me walk through the property in three dimensions with an accuracy of 0 0.1 feet. So well, how have, uh, have you liked it so far, playing around? I with am giddy. I've been telling everybody about my new map. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, like, it, it's hard to share with somebody why it's so cool, but I already had a call with a hydrologist and oh, he had an idea where I might dig a well. I was able to use your photography to show him in much higher resolution what the geology looks like. Yeah. And the spot where the canyons meet that he thinks I might be able to hit water at 100 or 150 feet. I mean, no joke. Like, you might save me $10,000 oh, in, well, in hey, just in the digging cost. That's what we're here for, man. Well, I mean, that's what we're here. We're selling information, you know? So this is just a cute little tool that I thought I'd uh, show you right here since you got one. Uh, volumetric data. So this one right here is 133 cubic yards of dirt and rocks that you pushed up here. Wow. And then you can kind of visualize it here in the 3D version. And you come like this and you start to look at it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's so cool. Model. Yeah, so man, well, like when you're starting to push up a lot, a lot of dirt, you know, uh, moving dirt's expensive and moving it twice is really expensive, you know? Yeah. And knowing where you've got dirt and where you can pull from and go push it to or cut fill analysis as it's called, you know, is very important. And then, I mean, when you start talking about the terrace farming, right? Like, you know, the, a real proper contour map is going to come in really handy when you start yeah. points on where you're going to start pushing earth out from. Uh, and that's where these contours and these 3D elevations come in. Yeah, that contour is, that's insane. That's way better than I've seen so far. Can you tell how happy I am? Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm I, delighted. <laughs> put on these compare models and we'll go June 10th. There's one capture date we did and then yeah. we'll have July 12th over here. So you can see where they were framing still June 10th. So they just finished up and then where they're completing roofing a month later right there. So wow. when you're going over a whole development, you know, you can start to see the changes over one month. Imagine, you know, doing this to your property over the course, you know, several iterations and yeah. seeing come to life. You know, once those terraces are had, how cool would that be to, you know, you know, move through the map and see the, the progression over time like that.
it's been possible for me to hike virtually the 320 acres so that I can get to know different areas of the property much faster than I can do on foot or even with my drone, which only has about a 30 minute flight lifespan. What I'm really excited about is the fact that I was able to import this file into Google Earth. And now with Google Earth, I can use all the annotations to mark everything that I want to do on the property and really do some intelligent long-term planning because I have good data. That file includes where roads are going to go, where structures are going to go, where swales are going to be, terraces, like all those details are in the map. If you'd like to see all the detailed planning in a Google Earth file, you can get access by joining my Buy Me A Coffee monthly membership. If you've never used Google Earth before, I promise you it's really easy. I'm gonna include some tutorial videos to walk you through the installation and the setup, and of course importing the file so that you can see the Dust Ups Ranch in crazy detail. I update that file regularly, as plans change or I'm thinking through different scenarios, I put that information first in Google Earth and I'm excited to share it with my members. Not only are the plans gonna be updated on the Google Earth file, but the actual photography from the drones will be as well. Scott and Michael were just amazing. They were easy to work with. They took care of setting up all the equipment. I can't say enough about them. If you're located around the greater Brownsville area and you work in construction and you need to do any kind of construction monitoring or I suppose if you're a ranch owner looking to rehabilitate your ranch and you want to keep track of the quantity and growth and quality of the vegetation over time, I'll put their contact information on the screen. Scott's going to be coming out here several times a year. So as I receive new drone photography, you'll be able to watch inside of Google Earth from the air the changes that are occurring on the Dust Ups Ranch, both in terms of the earthworks and the vegetation. Thank you for watching.